So this is another clip of Ben Shapiro debating a group of, let's just say, hostile uh, activists who are against Ben on all kinds of issues. And he's debating yeah, the topic of Israel and Israel's war against Hamas in Gaza. This was uh, from the Jubilee channel, and we'll post the link to the, to the full uh, video um, in the description. But this is a great example, this clip that I'm going to show you, of people thinking with, I don't even want to say like my, their hearts, their, their emotions, rather than their brains. Because this guy says, well, how would you like it if uh, Mexico did what Israel's doing to Gaza? Mexico did it to America. Would you be supporting Mexico? Oh boy, this level of thinking is so, so childish and flawed and twisted, but better than I do it, Ben Shapiro dismantles this argument. Have a watch. Tell the Middle East in 56 seconds. Go for it. <laughs> no, definitely not. My question is if, if this were in the context of the United States, if everything were the same, the same conditions of what you see to be terrorism, what you see to be from the Israel side, but it happened in the United States and the innocent civilians that died were United States citizens, would you see the same thing to be justified? Uh, in, in what, it, it, so let's say that the United States had launched a, an attack across the Mexican border, specifically targeting civilians, slaughtering 1,200 of them, taking 250 hostage. And then the Mexican government had retaliated by attempting to solely target military targets and our military men and women were hiding behind civilians. That would be the comparable condition. Yeah, so U.S. citizens would be would be killed in hospitals and other things I like would not that. Blame the Mexican in the United government States. For, I would not blame the Mexican government for targeting the personnel who were responsible no, 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 for no, the kidnappings and murder. Asking, do you see it to be ethically justified for them to kill innocent Americans if, at the same degree that they killed innocent Palestinians? Again, the, the question of of killing civilians is a question about who's hiding behind the civilians. Israel's not going out of its way to kill civilians. That's not an answer to the question. Yes, it is, because you're mischaracterizing the actual situation on the ground. Oh. Because of I what said I the just same described. conditions. I said the same conditions. Because, <laughs> because Israel is not targeting civilians. The whole issue is around who are you targeting? Right? The difference between genocide and war is genocide is I target civilians. Or, or a nation that I'm not at war with and seekly just uh, simply just seek to uh, destroy them. That's genocide. War is when you target an enemy. And if civilians die as collateral, that's war. That's not genocide. Otherwise, every single war in history would be classed as a genocide. And this kind of thinking, this lazy thinking, I, I don't even know how someone could, could adopt such a... Uh, a, a simplistic way of thinking where they'd say, well, what if it was Mexico doing this to America and Mexico was the Israel in such a scenario? Let me be clear. If Israel genuinely acted like Hamas or Nazis, God, God forbid, and that would, would never happen, but if they were to, I assure you that Jews would not support Israel. I'm saying the majority of Jews. If they were committing genocide actual genocide against people. So this this notion that maybe he's trying to tap into that maybe you're just you're dealing with, you know, loyalties that go deeper than morality. So for example, you know, if Mexico was the Israel and was doing it to America, you're so loyal to America, would you therefore uh, support what uh, Mexico was doing? As if Ben just doesn't have a brain and he's just thinking purely in terms of um, loyalties over any kind of morality. It's, uh, it, it's, it's disturbed. This kind of lazy thinking, where you just think purely emotionally, is, uh, I find, even have this in sometimes in internal conversations as well. Well, I say that it doesn't strike me as a wise move, as much as I pray every single day to return the hostages, to do a deal in which you release many, many Palestinian terrorists back into the public in order to get back the hostages. Because number one, that's what we did with Gilad Chalit and look what happened, Sinwar was released and that literally paved the way for October 7th. Number two, it sets a precedent. It tells our enemies, take more of us hostage because it will pay off. It creates a kidnapping industry. And uh, so when people hear this, sometimes they say, well, how would you feel about that if that was your, you know, your family member, your friend? Would you still be saying that? 
first of all, these kind of conversations are so impossibly hard and difficult to have. The, the kind of moral conundrums that Israel has been forced to grapple with. And I don't know how I would feel. But to me, facts are facts. Morality is morality. And just because you start playing these emotional games of saying, well, would you say, look, what if I had a child, you know, that was that was an Arab living in Gaza? Would I then be against Israel's war in Gaza? When you start getting super emotional saying, what if it was your, then you can no longer actually look at things objectively and clearly. And that's what this guy's trying to do again now. Trying to say, well, um, you know, if uh, if if this was uh, if Mexico was doing something against America like Israel's doing, would you still be feeling the same? The it's a different kind of emotional game, but it's similar kind of just uh, not actually dealing with the facts, looking at things objectively. So I think we need a bit less emotion and a bit more clear-headed thinking. If you've made it so far in this video, I have a request for you. JTV has been having a really big impact in spreading the truth about Israel and creating positive associations with the Jewish people, Judaism and Israel. We've really grown a lot, particularly in the last year, and we're having a really significant impact, both for Jews and non-Jews. But I really want to take JTV to the next level so we can start to compete with the other big online media beasts that are often peddling anti-Israel content. And the way we're going to do that is to scale even faster. So I'd love to build a team where we have other presenters doing shows like me that start doing documentaries, supplementary content, animated content, etc, etc. And to do that, I'd like to build a bit of a team. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one fundraising day, just one, where we try and build up some funding in order to fund such a team. Now, to do that, it's going to obviously require people to get involved. And I'm wondering if you would consider, if you're watching JTV content and appreciate what we do and want to help partner with us in taking this to the next level and spreading the truth farther and wider than ever before, I wonder if you'd consider partnering with us simply by running a page, a mini page on the fundraiser that we do, where you just reach out to your contacts on that day that we choose to fundraise and see if they'll all chip in. If you'd be up for doing that, of which I would be so, so grateful, then please click on the Google form link in the video description of this video where you can simply just put in a few contact details. It'll be a very small commitment, as I say, literally just one day that we'll all agree upon as a collective community. But the impact is going to be so big. There's such strength in numbers. If we all pull together and do this, we can take this to the next level. And as I say, all of us can partner together in bringing and spreading the truth to the whole world. So please do consider clicking on that link, filling in the form, and I'll be in touch very soon to talk about the next steps. Small commitment, but a big impact. Hi, thank you so much for watching. To watch another one, click here. To stay up to date with all our content, click here to subscribe. And if you're able to, you can help support JTV to grow and grow by clicking join below this video, where you can become a member and get perks, including early access to videos and private live discussions with me. But most of all, you'll be partnering with us on our mission to change the world.